Hello everyone, my name is Henry Bain and I am one of the authors of Azure Infrastructure as Code, a new book I'm writing with Erwin Stahl and Eduard Kelholz. Myself I have been working with five years or more of ARM templates and, I've, and I'm writing this book to share along what I have learned. Now since we started working on this book, people have been asking me, should we switch from ARM templates to Azure Bicep? And if so, why do you still start your book with teaching ARM templates? In this video, I will try to answer these two questions. When ARM templates came out, um, I think five, six years ago, uh, they felt like a real revelation. Instead of creating your infrastructure through the Azure portal, the old portal, um, or using scripts in PowerShell, you could now write JSON files describing the infrastructure you need. Just press a key, get a coffee, and your infrastructure was there. But over time, the problems of ARM templates became clearer and clearer and grew bigger as cloud infrastructures grew bigger in size as well. ARM templates being JSON, they take a lot of, well, lines to write simple things. They have a lot of quotes, a lot of spacing. Um, they're just cumbersome to work with. And then Bicep came out, a domain specific language that solved almost all of these problems. More concise, less quotes, less lines to write the same thing. Now instead of going over a list of all the downsides of ARM templates or highlighting all the benefits of Bicep, I just want to let you look at an example instead. So here you see an ARM template to deploy a resource group and a nested template with a SQL server and a database. This template is about 72 lines long and contains a lot of commas, quotes and other noise. Now let's take a look at two Bicep templates that accomplish precisely the same thing. You can see that these templates are only 14 lines combined. That's almost half of what you saw before. And they also contain a lot less quotes and commas and other noise, making them much more readable and much easier to write. So yes, you should use Bicep. So if my recommendation is to use Bicep templates over ARM templates, why do we start a book with teaching ARM templates? The reason is that Bicep templates are transpiled into ARM templates whenever you deploy them into Azure. Now, whenever there is an issue deploying the template or you have to troubleshoot something, you're all of a sudden exposed to an ARM template. So to prevent you from running into the law of leaky abstractions, we first teach you ARM templates and then we show you the benefits of moving to Bicep. I hope this answers the questions that you had, but if you don't, feel free to reach out to me through the comments or in Twitter or LinkedIn or whatever.